so that's probably gonna be like the rest of my night but i thought i'd kind of end the day in the life right here <laughs> Time to go climb some stairs. That's the finished product. All right, all set to go for the day. Breakfast time. Hey everyone, what's going on? So if we haven't met yet, my name's Nathan and I'm currently a senior uh, mechanical engineering student here at Syracuse University. Today is Thursday, February 24th, and I'm going to take you through kind of like just what happens in a day-to-day -day life of a mechanical engineering student. So I picked today on for a reason, mainly because very busy day today, so I'll put my schedule up somewhere around here. Um, being a second semester senior, like my schedule's a lot lighter than what it has been. I'll put up other schedules around it too, so you can kind of compare. So I wanted to pick a busy day to kind of give you more of like a real sense of what the majority of your college career is gonna be like. So today I have three hour 20 lectures back to back to back, starting off with engineering economics, and then I move over to senior design, which I actually have a presentation for today. So hopefully I'll be able to get into like the, the lab part so I can show you like what my senior design actually is today. And then from there, I go to turbo machines, which is kind of like aircraft engines. It's actually kind of a cool class. Then I have um, computational fluid dynamics, which that class is uh, pretty tough. So busy day, packed day, and hence my first class right now engineering economics. Ooh, 
these like past. All right, so it's my boy Arthur right here. Arthur, say what's up. What's up, <laughs> fans of Nate Lemoyne? He's camera shy. All right, so um, we just got finished up with engineering economics, and he's actually in the same senior design group as me. We are heading to the engineering basement right now. Um, what time? How are we going that? to Shine? You want to go to Shine? Yes, yeah, so we're heading to the engineering building basement. You'll see it's pristine, best building on campus. That's a fact. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we have our senior design review. So, see you then. All right, this right here is the engineering building, Link Hall, and we're heading down to the basement right now. This is home, baby. This is home base. This is home, <laughs> no, this is home right now. Oh, what up? All right, so our presentations are on Zoom right now, and so while our group's waiting, we're like third to go. Um, I thought I'd just run through quick like what my senior design actually is. So this presentation we have right here is um, basically just like a rundown of like what our group's done so far and our future plans. All right, so this is gonna be a voiceover because going through and video editing the audio in that closed off room with just everyone talking around me sounded pretty terrible. So I'm just gonna run through quickly what this device is. So basically we have to design a transfer device for biofluids such as blood or saliva, and we have to insert it into this microfluidic chip. And this chip will be able to test for COVID-19 and or other diseases with the program. And so this right here was our original design. And when we first started prototyping with it, we started to realize that there was a lot of just basic errors, it was very small, so it was not very easily 3D printed, and also not ergonomic, but this right here is our current and updated design, and so we made it a little bigger, a little easier to handle, and so there's gonna be a plunger that's going to go from the back with like a little rubber tip that'll create a seal, so there'll be a pressure difference, so you're gonna be able to suck up the saliva or blood, and when you push it through, you're going to go past like this little notch right here in the middle. And so from the tip to the notch, it's perfectly measured to 200 microliters. And so the whole concept of it is like when you push past it, it's gonna get locked in place. So you're gonna be able to suck up whatever fluid you need to, and then it'll be stopped at that 200 microliter mark. And so we've already done a couple tests as you can see with these prototypes. Um, this right here is the inlet to the microfluidic chip, and this is where you will dispense your saliva or blood into. It's gonna go into this reservoir and down into the testing area, and then these are some of our failed first 3D prints, but we still have weeks to go to like work on our design, perfect it, and so that's kind of like the rundown of our senior design. So I gotta get back to this presentation now. Just wanted to give you a quick update on what it is. All right, we just got finished up um, with my senior project presentation. Went pretty well, as well as it could have gone, honestly, for the circumstances. So now it's about 12 o'clock noon. Uh, we have a half an hour until turbo machines. So we are heading to Shine, which there's a Dunkin' in. And I'm just gonna grab a little coffee, a little midday break for our next class. Welcome to Turbo Machines now. This class is an hour 21 lecture. Goes from 12.30 to 1.50. Let's get it. All right, it is about 1.50 p.m. now. Just finished up with Turbo Machines. So this right here is Brandon, best friend. What's up, guys? What up? Um, so 
we usually have like this kind of awkward time frame in between this and our next classes. So what we usually do is we head to my dining hall, we grab some lunch, and then we have about half an hour and we usually just play one game of FIFA. <laughs> so that's what we're about to go do. Grab some lunch, which I kind of sneak them in for free. We kind of cheat the system. Don't tell Syracuse about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's off the record. Um, play a game of FIFA, and then he's got class, exam. Ugh. He's ready for it though. And I'm gonna go hit the gym after that. So keep you updated. So for lunch, we got two-piece of grilled chicken, some A1 steak sauce, whole wheat pasta, some, I don't even know, pea pods. The tomato, tomatoes. The tomatoes are gross. I'm not going to eat those. <laughs> got ourselves a little salad here. And then just a couple pieces of, what was that, sweet and sour chicken wings. Got to live a little. So about to eat up <laughs> and then head up to my room. So we just got back, eating lunch, so good. Now it is 2.34, we have exactly like half an hour. So we're about to sit down, play a game of FIFA 22, online draft, never goes too well. <laughs> and then he's got class and I'm gonna hit the gym. <laughs> we won 4-2, I'll show you a quick, uh, quick highlight. So our last goal we scored, made him quit. Oh. <laughs> Oh, come on now. Good times, good times. All right, that was good. Hour workout. It is currently 4:25 right now. Good pull day, as you can see from like the workout edit. Um, I've switched from like powerlifting to more calisthenics training, so that's why you saw like a lot of like pull-ups, a lot of core strength. Just trying a bunch of different stuff. I want to like master my own like body weight. My first like calisthenic trick goal I want to learn is the handstand. I started that back in January, right on the New Year's, and come a long way but I also have a long way to go so the plan now is I have to leave my room in 25 minutes so I'm going to clean myself up I'm gonna go like fix my hair a little bit wash up a little bit and then get changed again and then it is computational fluids at five o'clock and that's like about like a eight ten minute walk from me so not too far and then right after that, I'm probably gonna come back home, eat some dinner, and then I got a meeting with um, this advertisement group for another school at Syracuse University. So that's the plan for right now. I'm gonna get myself cleaned up, and I'll see you in a little bit. All right, so it is about 4.52 now. Um, heading to my last lecture of the day. And so just thought on this like nice little stroll, I would kind of answer a few questions that I could definitely see coming up in the comments. 
So the first one is, why am I wearing these glasses? Look at that, I'm so overexposed with this sun. Why am I wearing these glasses? If I put in contacts this morning, well, these are blue light blocking glasses. And I wear them on days where I know like I will be kind of looking at screens all day, which I have been between my iPad, the computers I was using. The next thing is, why do I live in a dorm if I'm a senior, right? And so I am an RA, which means that kind of like a parent to like the residents who live in the resident halls. And so that's why, so I live in Ernie Davis and I actually live like in the top two floors. I don't know if you can see my, uh, my finger. I live on the nine, but I also RA on the eight. That's why I live in a dorm. And so I have a lecture from five to 620, computational fluid dynamics, CFD. So that's where I'm heading right now. Be back in a little bit. Yeah, so we just finished up with CFD. It is, what, 610? Yeah, right around 610. 609 to be Ooh, exact. pretty close. So yeah, we are heading back to Ernie. Gonna grab some dinner, and then I got a meeting at seven o'clock for those new house students and my senior design project. So that's what's up next. same salad here um, and then we got some sweet potatoes some mixed steam veggies a piece of chicken and then also a piece of steak so gonna dig in and then we're gonna head upstairs to my room All right, it is currently 7.30, finished up with the meeting. Essentially what that is, my senior design group, we're creating like this product for this company. And then this other group that's in Newhouse, um, which is like the communication school, they are bringing like emotion to our product, how like it'll be, you know, marketed to the consumer. And so that's what that's doing. So we just talked to them, gave them a rundown of what's going on asked some questions and it was pretty quick, pretty easy. And so now Brandon's gonna leave at eight for, um, Frisbee practice, <laughs> ultimate Frisbee. So I'm probably gonna play one game of FIFA with him, bring him home, and then I got a couple more things to do tonight. All right, it is now 8.25. Just got back from bringing Brandon home. I mean, it lives like a, a two minute car right away. It's not too bad. Um, actually, something's not quite right. <sighs> you know, I've never done one of those like clothing transitions like that. <laughs> I really hope that they come out as good as I want them to because I've done what? Three in this video now. We'll see, we'll see how they come out. It's around 8.30 now. And I thought about it, so my two homeworks are for turbo machines and CFD. They're not due till Monday and Tuesday, and I'm actually pretty tired now. So what I plan on doing is working on preparing for that interview for tomorrow before I like tire out my brain too much. I think that's probably just the smartest thing to do. So I'm gonna do that right now, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> All right, everyone, it is right now 9.54. I just um, prepared a lot for my interview for tomorrow. 
hoping it goes well, but I thought I'd kind of end the day in the life right here. What I really wanted you to get out of this is just kind of get like a better perspective of how kind of intensive engineering is. I'm on the downhill now after being a senior now for two semesters. Sophomore, junior year especially are really difficult. You're gonna have a lot of schoolwork, a lot of studying and exams. Um, so just keep that in mind. And that's why I kind of wanted to give you like a busy day that I had to really show you just like how like how many lectures you have and then how many homeworks you have. If anyone has any further questions as to kind of the lifestyle of an engineer, or if you really enjoyed this type of video, then let me down below and maybe I could do some more kind of vlog styles because honestly, I had a lot of fun with it today. And so with that being said, have a great day everyone and cheers.